What's the crack lads? Welcome back. It is Thursday and we've got a brand new pack here. You've got the Showtime players Halland, Harry Kane and Rodrigo. So these are called Gold Machines. Bullet header Halland I think is going to be the one that excites most. Or, well, excites is probably a strong word. I think that the crossing in the game at the moment, it leaves a lot to be desired. Now, hopefully with the changes that they've made with adding Beckham and adding Luis Suarez bullet header and now Halland bullet header... Maybe it'll open up the fact of the players that they're adding now. It's something that I've been predicting for a while. That they're going to roll back or at least kind of like adapt the gameplay in the next big update. Which is on, on the 5th of December, what it looks like. And it's going to be V4.2. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they bring a bit more of a balance into the game from out wide. And that the game kind of switches up from just central plays. Like, yes, you can play out wide. I know people in the chat will be like, oh, you can play out wide. Listen, I've played out wide for months and months and months, okay? And I feel like out wide is super fun to play, but you are swimming against the current all the time, right? Now, we still have the English League midfielders ongoing as well, but we do have a look at what's coming Monday as well. We'll get into that in a second, but there's actually quite a few bits and pieces to get through here. We have the AC Milan Club event. So this is obviously the event, the same as the Barcelona one. The Arsenal one, the Bayern one, they're all going to be the same uh, for the eFootball Championship that's going to be kicking off next season. And this is basically going to be the in you know the real life uh, eSports event, right, that they do. The eFootball Pro, it's obviously eFootball Championship now, club event. And if you want to represent one of these teams, you have to get through all of these events, get through round one, two, and then the ranking. So you can just enter this and play this. The first one is going to be against the AI. You can get 5,000 eFootball points. Um, and that's going to also count towards your match pass and all that. You can play on any difficulty. It doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, that's just one of the events there that they've been doing. We also have the national team back. We have the English club that is still ongoing. And the Barcelona edition uh, anniversary is still ongoing as well. Against online opponents, we've got all of these European clubs, national teams, right? And this is going to be your random booster here with your coins. And also the same here with your national teams, right? So the events are still the same. E-Football League is still the same. My League pretty much is still the same. They've made a couple of changes to the live update, but that's roughly about it, right? The daily game is still ongoing. There's not much going on with that either. I don't think that they'll change this, boys, for eFootball's new update, right? I feel as if... I feel as if they're now into a situation where the penalty system is just probably like a little bit of an afterthought now. Um, and I don't like it. They could have brought in maybe five or six mini games here and it's random every day. Yes, the rewards are nice if you're logging in every day. Um, but, you know, if you miss a day or two, it's not really that big of a deal because you're still going to get the big ones anyway. Right. Also with this as well, they have actually added an eFootball points player to the store, uh, which is the first time in a while that they've done it. Obviously, they added Hector Fort there as well, but they've added Okafor. He's okay. I mean, he's got 29 levels. It's an okay card. It's actually quite decent with flip flap and, of course, super sub there and soul control. You throw double touch on him, you're going to have a fairly tricky left wing, right wing that can play CF. So it's actually not a bad card apart from the tight possession on this card. It's, it's quite decent and the finishing is quite poor as well. But as a winger, it's good. And you can get him for free as well with the 5,000 eFootball points. Even if you just want to release him, you know, and get your get your your um, contracts and your boosters. Not your contracts, but, you know, your boosters, right? Strips, no strips there available. And then also on top of that as well, it is going to be about mostly, uh, you know, we know what it's about now, the packs and the content and stuff like that. They have added a brand new AC Milan club pack, right? So this is going to be 1,500 coins. It comes with all of these that you see here. You've got your manager, Leao, Hernandez, uh, Loftus-Cheek, Musa. There's some good cards thrown in here as well. But again, at this stage in the game, boys, I think I'm just waiting for gameplay now. I don't even think I'll try out these. I haven't bought the Flick uh, pack yet. I think 1,500 coins is just a little bit steep, especially if you're playing free to play. It's a lot to spend your coins on, right? Um, after we did buy the Arteta pack to test it out as well. The next uh, thing that I want to talk about is the missions and the objectives. So this is still ongoing, right? The Black Friday is over in six days and the Barcelona event. There's nothing really new there, but you might have new uh, rewards if you've logged in every day to the game. That will mean that you can clear the AC Milan pack and get the four Milan pack players, right? And then last but not least, we do have the contract situation here. Obviously, this is still ongoing as well, but we do have the contract situation here as well with the showtime so we already looked at bullet header uh halland here this is his stats he's got 34 levels it's actually quite a nice card again his balance is absolutely in the mud but he does have that second booster slot and it's a pretty decent card apart from the tight possession and the balance but you're going to go for a really high finishing build here and maybe just keep him as like somebody that you're going to just loft the ball up to so we'll do a build on him we also have harry kane again his balance is in the mud 
but he is a fairly decent card as well with a shooting and phenomenal finishing uh, badge. And of course, you'll have a double booster on him. Rodrigo's probably the pick of him, right? So Rodrigo's down as a right winger, but he can play left or central. He's down as a prolific winger in this game, but he's very decent card. Like his tight possession, dribbling, speed, acceleration, and balance and finishing are all around that 78 to 80 mark and throw in ball control as well with 29 levels, boot, striker's instinct, it's going to be a very decent card, lads, trust me, this is probably the pick of the cards, he doesn't have one touch pass, but everything other than that, it's it's a perfect kind of like hybrid left winger, right winger, striker, right, Um, the weekly roundup here then as well, you've got Valverde, you've got Saka, you've got a couple of other players in there, we'll do a player of the week review, Madison, Enzo Fernandez, David De Gea is back in the game, I actually might like to get De Gea, you know, a brand new uh, Valverde as well. Madrid are struggling at the moment, but Valverde is always going to be a beast in the game. He's down as a right back. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, lads. It is pretty much going to be this way for a while, right? Now, we do have a look as to what's coming on Monday as well, okay? So this is what seems to be in the database for Monday. Ambrosini, uh, Guanluigi uh, Guan Buffon. Gigi Buffon is going to be the big one, lads. Gigi Buffon is going to be the big card, I think. Now, obviously, these levels are not finalized. Buffon is going to have at least 28, 29 levels. Sadarf is there as well. But yeah, Buffon is going to be a brand new legend added to the game. Obviously, he's not, you know, long retired. So it's going to be interesting. Will he join the best keepers in the game? Czech, Schmeichel, and probably, I would say, Oliver Kahn as well. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That is going to be coming Monday. I'll do a quick review of those or a preview of those. And of course, we will be streaming in a little bit as well. So make sure you keep it locked to the channel and I'll talk to you then. Peace.